Yes. Mr. Baron is speaking. Uh, hmm? Here. Yes, Mr. Baron is speaking. Uh, hmm? here. But that was the police. A girl just died in her way to the infirmary after swallowing sand disinfectant. An inspector is in his way here to ask some questions. Oh no! I told you, Inspector Gould was right. Now you will have to tell the truth to the actual inspector. No. No one is going to tell what really happens. We have to prevent a public scandal. Who gives a damn about public scandal? You stop drinking, fool. For your fault, I don't want to receive my knighthood. And you also stole my money. I told you I was going to give it back. Stop telling about this. The real inspector is going to come and find out everything just as Inspector Gould did. She is right. I think I'm going home. Sheila, please forgive me. I know what you're doing. You want to leave now because the real inspector is coming and you want to escape the problems. That's not true. If you want to, I can stay here. Yes, stay. I can't stand any more accusations. It's been a very long night. And I can stand more lies. When he comes, I'm going to tell him everything. Sorry, an inspector has called again. Mr. Brown. He wants to ask you some questions. Of course, Edna. Show him his way inside. Good evening. Oh, Peter, good evening. Good to see you. How is your wife and family? Very well. Thanks for asking, Arthur. Wait, you two know each other? Oh, Sheila, of course we do. We were friends when we studied at the college and we played golf several times. Oh, yes, those were a good time. So, Arthur, I came to ask you some questions about a girl who called Eva Smith who committed suicide. Poor girl. She was waiting for a baby. Did you know? Oh, how terrible. Do you know why he killed her son? Yes. She was poor and homeless. It wasn't the right thing to do, but she had no choice. Sorry, Peter, but why do you want to ask us some questions? I shouldn't be saying this, but the police found Eva's diary, and an note said that the Berlins are responsible. It was apparently signed only with a G. Inspector Wool! What? Inspector Wool wrote that note. And who is that Inspector Wool? A stupid man. Who pretended to be a real inspector. Oh, I see. And uh, how did you know that he wasn't a real inspector? Because after he left, we called the police department and found out there was no Inspector Wool. But that inspector told us nothing but the truth. Yes, it doesn't matter if he was real or not. Sorry, but who is who around here? This is my wife, Sibyl. And this is my son, Eric. Daughter, Shira. And her husband, Shira. I met your father a long time ago. Now, we're good friends. Yeah, I know. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, about the girl. Did you know what her? What was her name? She was me. Yeah, we all knew her. Did you know her? How? I will tell you. No, no, Shira. It's okay. I can First, my father fired her from her factories. Then, I made her manager fire her. Then, Gerald had an affair with her, Eric got her pregnant, and finally, my mother refused to help her when she had nothing left. So, you all met her and did something to her. Nothing serious, except for it. Yeah, I know. I'm very sorry. Could I go to jail? Eric, that doesn't matter! Of course it does! I think he cannot go to jail, but I'm not sure. Pete, we have been friends for a long time. I'm expecting to receive a knighthood. But I don't need a public scandal. So please, what can I do? We can discuss this topic. Yes, please. Maybe you can leave for a moment, boys. But I want to stay. Yes, me too. But you can't. So, Pete, how much do you want? No, Arthur, that's okay. I'm not gonna fail you. I will not tell anyone. That's a good friend. 
I will make it up to you, I swear. So, if there's nothing more to say, I think I just go. Yeah, it's just been a long night. Um, Edna, please, uh, lead him to the door. Of course. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mrs. Sperling, but the postman just came and dropped off the newspaper. Thank you. Let's look at it. The Sperling's contribution to a girl's suicide. 